Previously on Dance Moms. Girls, you all know Kalani. You were warned. The face of the Avery Dance Company is changing. Well, I knew as soon as she was bringing someone new in that Chloe would have a solo against the new person, because that's her game. She doesn't hate your kid. She hates my daughter. Get your you finger you out of my up? face! Girls, out the room! Girls, oh, out the room! Oh, oh, a woman just grabbed and pulled my hair and scratched my face. Coming up on Dance Moms, choreographer's cut. Maddie isn't here today. You have been chosen to take her position. I don't think that Kendall is the lead. I think Kalani's the lead. What are the charges? I, I'm really not yes. allowed to discuss it. You're the ignorant one! Then get off the bus! You did a good job getting rid of Kelly! I want to give this kid some praise, and Satan destroys it! Get up, get on the bus! Kenzie and I are in Los Angeles to record her first single. I want to make sure that she has energy in her voice, that she's having fun with this, and that we hear it on the tracks. So I want to start with the chorus. Na, 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 na. It's OK? All right, and while we're doing this over and over, yes. Maddie has to get ready. OK. She has a job. Say bye. OK, bye. Have fun. Tell Be we'll good. See you guys later, right? OK. Here we go. We're gonna have some fun, cause we're ready to get this party started. Na 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 na, it's a good party, girl party. Tell her, tell her, tell her we're taking a break. We're gonna, you're gonna take a little break, okay? Okay, you're staring at the mic, or the lines, or but this is ridiculous, this is Brooke. This is not you. So sit up tall, you can use your hands, and perform the song for me. All right, Mac, we're going to do it again, OK? We need to have a lot of energy, OK? Come on. Dad, if you want to come, because we're ready to get this party started. Party started. Mackenzie finally nailed it. I have to head back to Pittsburgh with Mackenzie, and Maddie is staying behind. She can't worry about what her little sister's doing. She has to worry about her own deal. is not here. She is doing a job in LA. I'm looking for the child who can be my Maddie when Maddie's not here. Let me start the pyramid. Mia, you had another opportunity to do a solo. Something went wrong. <laughs> That's what put you at the bottom of the pyramid. And next, I have Kendall. Kendall, you were part of the duet with Kalani. Kalani did a duet with Maddie last week, and they won. Was it your fault? And next, Kalani. From top of the pyramid to the bottom row, you're only as good as your last performance. Last week, Kendall and Kalani's duet lost, and that is not OK. I need the kind of dancer that can do a duet with anybody and get a first place award. And moving up, we have Chloe. Chloe was part of a winning duet. The only thing I saw lacking in you was the facial expressions. You have to do more, and you have to figure out what those facial expressions are. Next. We have Mackenzie. But why is Mackenzie above Chloe on the pyramid? Because Mackenzie was outstanding with the candy box. You are the beast, me. You're my little yum yum. 
Chloe was part of the winning duet, and she was in the winning group dance. And Mackenzie's a buffer because of the candy box. Well, she had a solo part. OK. And on the top of the pyramid is Maddie. Nobody seems too happy about that. It's just predictable these days. Isn't that sad? Moving on to this week, we will be traveling to Fort Wayne, Indiana. We will be attending Masters of Dance Arts. The group routine is entitled The Bite. My junior elite competition team has won seven consecutive competitions in a row. This week, I hope they're going to make it eight. Mackenzie, you will be performing a solo this week. You will be doing a jazz gymnastic solo entitled Red. Kalani, you're going to do a solo, and it's called Swan. Solstice. Chloe, you will also have a solo. The name of your routine is Into Me. It's a lyrical routine. All right? Yep. Maddie isn't here today. I need somebody to take her place. Ladies, we're going to have a little competition. I want everybody to improv, and then the moms are going to pick the kid they think, wow, here's the little catch. You cannot pick your own child. All right, moms, I want you to come on over here. Stand over here with me. All right, ladies, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Joe. Personally, my eye was drawn to Kendall, but I know we can't pick them. So my eye was secondly drawn to Kalani. Kalani, okay. And Kira. Chloe. 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 Uh, Kalani. I, I was watching you. Wait, could you say the name I didn't hear? Kendall, thank you. All right, you two are out of the game. Five, six, seven, eight, and one. Four, five, six, seven, eight, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, who's voting for Kalani? Who voted for Chloe? Raise your hand. One, two, three. And who voted for Kendall? Oh, I did. One, two, three. Kalani, you're out. All right, we have it down to two. Finish. Kalani. Kendall. 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 What happened? Kendall? Maddie's not here right now, so you have been chosen to take her position. I'm so excited. I knew Kendall was going to win the improv. Abby has never given her the time of day. And here, this kid went out and nailed it. And now, maybe since Kendall got the lead in the dance, Abby will have to pay attention to her. All right, I think it's time to start the solos. Contestant number blank, into me. is doing a lyrical piece, I'm asking this kid to dig deep inside herself. Find her inner Maddie. Find the Chloe that used to be there so that this kid can really dance like she's meant to be. Make your hand bigger in the back. And poor Chloe has to do a solo always against the new girl. Chloe is always the, like, Getting sacrificial paid. lamb. Mm -hmm. Always. It doesn't matter even if Maddie were here. Abby never puts Maddie up against anyone who she thinks might beat her, ever. Chloe's going up against Kalani this week, and I'm worried because Kalani is clearly one of the best dancers that Abby's ever brought here. Imagine if you danced like Maddie. Oh, 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 look who's calling me. Who's calling you? Why, hello, Miss Kelly. How are you? Well, I'm in dance hell, so not very good. I know. I miss you. What are you doing tomorrow? Are you doing anything in the good lunch? 
Oh, well, yeah. I'll go to lunch. We can catch up. It's Christian Lines. I can join you guys. I want to meet her. Um, whatever you want to do. Kira, who is Kalani's mom, who I'm thinking you met for a few moments in the dressing room, just asked if you would mind if she joined us. I'm you know just what? asking. Don't even I'm speak just to me. asking. Oh. Don't even speak to me. Oh, why can't I speak to you? Because I don't want to speak to you. That's fine. I mean, I really just wanted to talk to you, but I mean, if she wants to come, that's fine. Okay. Well, we'll see. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Text me in the morning. All right. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Bye, Kelly. If you guys want to come, by all means, I think that that would be wonderful. I think that Kelly would appreciate seeing everyone. I mean, you really want to go to lunch with us? Well, I just want to meet her. Like, I just would like to, you know. It's really strange. I think that might be a little bit weird for Kelly. I mean, she met you for a few minutes and just, I just would like to, like, you know, just. Very odd. I don't know Kelly, and I don't care to know Kelly, but I just want to make sure that she is not coming back to this team, and Kalani's spot is secure. I love. Thank you. Oh, I'm really excited to see Kelly. Kelly and I have been friends for 10 years. And for her to not be sitting next to me in the dance studio, it's weird. I miss my partner in crime. Well, I'm glad that you're with me. I miss you upstairs. I know, God. but I don't miss being there, Christy. So nice, like not having the stress of being up there. I have never felt more alone sitting upstairs. Because I'm sorry, I mean, Christy, well, no, but no, I have no, to I do what's best I for my family. I totally know. And you know, I've always been friends with Holly and, and Jill. Melissa, I, mm, I have no words for her. Friends like Melissa? No, you I don't, don't need enemies. No, no, no. I agree. I, I, Hello? Hi. Hi, Kira. I don't think I actually truly got introduced to you. Hi. Kelly. Nice to meet you. You too. So how, how, how are you? I'm good. You look good. Thanks. You look great. Being away from the dance studio agrees with oh, me. I think. Seeing Kelly is definitely awkward. Since the competition, this is the first time we've spoken or seen each other. And how about the girls? How do they feel? Are they, like, bored or are they, like... No, they have not once mentioned going back. They try their best, and Abby constantly is... Good bullying enough, them, throwing things in their faces. Basically, you stuck up for your children in front of to Abby. Good for you for having the courage to, to not come back. Cheers. Cheers, it's great to see you. You too. It's very clear there's no going back. The lines have been drawn, things have been said, things have been done. I, I don't see Kelly ever coming back to this team. What are the charges? I, I'm really not allowed to discuss it. I don't. I didn't know anything was going on. Well, you knew the cops were called on me, and I was gone. So you had to know something was going on. After all of that, you didn't feel like maybe you should have called and found out if my kids needed anything or I needed anything. The only person that did was Christy and Holly. I figured you didn't want to talk to anybody. Or Christy had your kids. We assumed they were OK. There's more going on than just her calling the cops on me. Nothing can be said until, I guess, we go to trial or whatever. I don't know. Oh, my gosh. Hello, everybody. Hi. Maddie, since you weren't here yesterday, I put Kendall in charge. They had to do improv dance off to see who was going to be, like, the main person that did the counts. So respectfully, I want you to let her continue today, OK? Because you worry about you and your parts. All righty? Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, and five, six, seven. The group routine this week is called The Bite. It's very dark and driven. Kalani, you're going to come out first. Then my next set is Kendall and Matt. With Maddie away, I needed a kid to take charge, the leader. Kendall isn't really a Maddie. 
Maddie, get in that window. This is where Maddie leaves. No. I don't think that Kendall is the lead. I think Kalani's the lead. Does anyone else think that Kalani looks like she's the lead of the dance? Abby, wasn't that the role you just gave to Kendall? She just earned that spot, and now you're giving it to Kalani. Abby, you're not even pretending to stand by your word, and I think it's ridiculous. Like, who's really featured in this dance? At first, I thought it was Kalani, because she starts and she enters. Anybody is. Well, it's either Kalani or, or Maddie. Maddie has the prop. And she has a pop. And so I your, mean, eye, your the eye is bright red on. apple that your eye goes to. Your eye is on. Where is the prop? She doesn't have it now. She goes off and gets it and brings it on. Uh, I kind of think Kendall should have been biting the apple and dying, or doing the spooky witch part to give Kalani the apple, because she won the dance off. We can't see anything. The apple has to be below your chin, and you bite. We want to see your teeth in it. <sighs> All right, so you know that you have won seven times in a row. Eight would be great. All right, let's go. Chloe, Kalani, come here. You're going up against each other, all right? I am looking for the person that is going to lead this team to victory when Maddie's not around. Understand? Yes, it's not personal. It's the game. It's the way it's played. Got it? Well, show me something. Yes, that was beautiful. Kalani's solo is called Swan, so it's just, it's a contemporary routine with several acrobatic tricks. Kalani is one of these kids that was born with beautiful feet, with natural flexibility. With my training, this kid could be the best. And then poke, twist, arms, good. Okay, breathe, grab a drink. I feel like she's testing Kalani's waters here and where she's at. Well, so she's putting her up against Chloe this week mm -hmm. to see where she stands on the team. I mean, I wonder if she's going to put her up with Maddie next week. Here's the thing is that if Abby were to put Maddie against Kalani and Kalani were to beat her, then that would negate everything Abby says about, I know when Maddie steps on stage, she's going to win because that wouldn't be true. Abby's not going to take that risk because then she can't throw that in our faces. That's my point. <sighs> I don't think anyone on our team can beat Maddie in the solo. I'm being honest with you. I really don't think that. Maybe next week. We'll see. Are you kidding me? to be evil, like you have fangs. Abby, why don't you try to demonstrate biting the apple? Because it was you that tried to bite Kelly in the face. It needs to be evil. You're making it silly. Well, I think it's established Kendall is not the lead, didn't get a special part, and doesn't carry the apple. It backfired. But is she doing the counts and being the dance captain? Yeah, but that wasn't really initially what it was supposed no, to be. No, it didn't go Abby's way, so then the rules changed. Yeah, the rules In changed. The it's just funny that the apple didn't show up until Maddie did. We had learned the dance without Maddie, and then Maddie came. I Melissa, know. I'm just saying. I'm, we didn't I'm, know there was an apple until Maddie was holding it. All right, you guys go grab a drink. Throw that away. Yeah, you three need to do your solos. Mackenzie, you're going to wear your bare feet first. Sloppy left foot. Mackenzie's solo this week is a gymnastic routine. It's called Red, and it's a more mature piece. She needs to start moving like a teenager. If she wants to be a pop star, then she better start acting like one. I absolutely love Mackenzie's solo this week because I love her doing cutesy dances, but I really do like it that it's more grown up because she is going to be in the next age category starting next year. So it's good for her to start doing, you know, older dance. Shut your feet! 
what are you doing? Like, get a line there. Get off stage. Get off stage. Come on and hit that pose, and you better look. Get off and look at those judges when you walk out there. Stop. Stop. Go. Off the stage. Wasting time. Oh, my God. Now she's yelling. Sick and tired of going over and over things. Stupid. You're walking. She just screamed at Mackenzie. What is she doing? Yeah, that fullback split shouldn't be. You need to, the, the, I don't think she can do it. Is that right? So Kira, are you kind of in limbo still with Abby? Has she given you a definitive answer about your stay here with Kalani? Are you staying? I don't know, did Abby leaving? ever give an definitive answer? I feel like it's like, <laughs> I feel like she's like, here's your jacket and here's your pants, but We'll let you know after Saturday if you're coming back. And here's your bag and here's this, but we'll let you know on Saturday. It's like every week's a new thing. It's really hard to gauge these moms. They're all acting like they want Kalani to succeed, but deep down, I feel like they want Chloe to win. All right, I'm a little worried about this weekend. I'm a little worried about the cloaks. Yeah, we are too. All right, so my mother had to tell me that you all went to lunch with Kelly. I tried to tell you yesterday, but you kept talking How and ignored me. How did your mother find out? When we walked in. If you'd rather be where Kelly is right now, say the word. Mm -mm. Say the word, and I'll make a phone call. It's ridiculous. It's bad enough that the situation happened, and now you guys are going to go all lunch lovey-dovey. That's not being part of the Abby Lee Dance Company elite competition team. That is not being a member of this team. It's really no secret that Kelly's my best friend. And Abby might be yelling at all the moms, but clearly it's directed to me. Lovey well, it dovey. wasn't lovey-dovey, number no. one. No. And she has been a part of the team for how many years? And she was mad that we hadn't called her sooner. Who cares what she well, thinks? Well, I'm just, there are two sides to every story. Uh, Abby, it wasn't to work you up. It was late, I think, for me. It didn't work me up. I don't care. Everything. I think you're all stupid for me doing it, for going and meeting her. I've told you guys time and time again not to discuss the information happening in the studio, outside the studio. I don't want people that are no longer members of the Abby Lee Dance Company talking about what's going on this week or what's gonna go on in two weeks. I don't think we really did. Hey, you're all grown adult women. You can have lunch with whoever you want. You can talk about whatever you want. You can stab me in the back a hundred times. There is nothing I can do about it, but I can take your kid off this team. Got it? I'm leaving. All right, Christy. Yes. The other night in the parking lot, you dinged somebody's car with your car door. And when they wound down their window, you said, and I quote, don't even think about suing me. I don't make any money. That's not what I said. Watch your mouth. I know, Abby, because everything I do is wrong, and everything in your life and about you is perfect. That's not what I said, and that's not how I said it. Well, then now, why did she bring it up? Don't say things like that about me. I why would she see? If you said you were sorry, she probably wouldn't even have told me about it. OK. But because you were so ignorant, that's why she I'm said something. I'm not ignorant. I'm not. You're the ignorant one. Then get off the bus. You did a good job getting rid of Kelly. Nobody on this team is safe. Understand, ladies? Let's go, girls! Come on! We're here at the competition in Fort Wayne, Indiana. And I have Chloe going up against Kalani. I want to know who the go-to girl is going to be. Plus, we have to win the group routine. Eight would be great. Moving into the junior solo division, this is entry number 21, Chloe with It To Me. I am so nervous for Chloe solo. Chloe, I feel, has really earned her position next to Maddie. And for Kalani to just waltz in here and take that away would really be an injustice to Chloe. Thank you. 
Watching Chloe do the solo on stage is really a breath of fresh air. I feel like I'm watching the old Chloe, the Chloe who hasn't been beaten down, the Chloe who hasn't been told that she's no good, and it's so nice. All right, up next, we have entry number 22. This is Kalani with Swan Solstice. I am a little bit nervous when Kalani takes the stage. She has to prove that she can beat Chloe and get the number one spot on this team. I really hope she pulls it off. Number 22, this is Kalani with Swan. So She looked beautiful on stage. I just hope Abby realizes that Kalani is very beneficial to this team. All right, up next in the mini solo division, we have entry number 20. This is Mackenzie with Red.
ridiculous that looks on stage when your hair falls out of your head. That is unprofessional. <sighs> oh, that's over. Thank First God. round done. Thank goodness. That's a relief. I think they very, all very well. did really well. Oh, hola. Oh, hi. hi. Nice job. Oh, you did a beautiful job. Did she tell you guys not to button all three buttons? So just the top button. Hey, hey. How we doing? We're worried Good. about hoods. Kalani, great job on your solo. Chloe. It was good. Well, this? That embarrasses me. It's unprofessional. It makes me look bad. I will not allow you to fail at dancing for music or fail at music for dance. Get it? So, Abby, I just have a quick question. You know, when Kendall won the competition that we had, what was her special part again? She was the dance captain. She still is. We just assumed that Kendall would be doing the part that Maddie got because she wasn't at Pyramid and Kendall won the dance off. Wah, 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 meow, meow, meow. I don't think Maddie or Kalani do anything that Kendall couldn't have done. So what would it have hurt you to not feature Maddie for once? You want to know how to be the favorite? Be the best person in the class. Never once did I hear Kendall open her damn mouth and say, Miss Abby, I really want the special part. Please let me try it. Why would she do that? If she wants it so bad, that's what a kid does. If you want it bad enough, you fight for it. Next in the junior small group division, this is entry number 76, entitled The Bite. I'm really nervous right now. The girls are about to go on stage, and they've had an enormous winning streak. But one wardrobe malfunction with those capes, and that streak may come to an end. However, there was nothing that Maddie or Kalani did that Kendall couldn't do. That's not fair. Hi, guys. Moving into our divisional overalls in the Elite Mini Solo Division. In second place, act number eight in charge. And in first place, act number 20, red. Somehow, that hairpiece falling out did not affect the 
great. Maybe they just didn't see it. Okay, your top 10 highest elite junior solos. In third place, act number 42, Baby June. <laughs> your first and second place were very, very close. In second place, act number 21, Into Me. I was very excited for Kalani. I wasn't surprised by the outcome. Kalani's skill level is just far above Chloe's skill level. Top three highest elite junior small group in third place. Cross your fingers, girls. Act number 56, Ghetto Superstars. In second place, act number 57, Schoolin. And in first place, act number 76, The Bike. I played this stinking competition like a harp from hell. Woohoo! I cannot be beat. Congratulations, Chloe. Great job. Thank you. You danced really well. Thank you. But I need you to realize you're now taking private lessons at the studio like you should have been all the time. No, she always did. She you you to need me. to look at the attendance record at well, our studio because yeah. you have a weird sense of no, when she was there. I don't because I drive her. So I know when I'm well, racing to get there. maybe she's sneaking out the back door to meet some guy. I don't know. Don't say that about a 12-year-old. That's well, wrong. Well, you're pushing that point. See what her mother does? I want to give this kid some praise, and Satan, no, I'm just Satan like... destroys it. And if you're not going to improve the way Maddie's improving, then you'll be replaced. That's it. There's no room for slackers on this team. Next on Dance Moms, this week, we are going to Detroit, Michigan. So we're going to do a routine and call it Riches to Rags. Maddie, you're going up against Kendall, and you are not doing a solo. Do I want her to have a solo? Absolutely, I want her to have a solo. No solo today. Christy, get rid of the attitude. You have an attitude of being on this team. I'm not afraid of you, Abby. I'm not. Keep pointing in my face, sweetheart. Keep it up, keep it up. Keep... Get out of my face. <laughs> 